Hi everyone, welcome to Storytime with Fairfield County Library. My name is Miss Nina and I am so excited for Storytime today. Before we get started, I want to remind you that we are doing hybrid story times, which means on top of story times online here, we are also doing in-person story times at the library. The in-person version of these story times for the toddler slash preschool age group are at 10.30 a.m. on Mondays. Okay, now that that's out of the way, are you guys ready for story time? This week our theme is knights. That means this week we're going to read books about those armored fighters who use swords and shields. Alright, our first book is Julius and Macy, A Very Brave Knight, written and illustrated by Anne Louise Mahoney and published by Two Lions. This is a special place. Julius and Macy like to play, where they can be anything at all. I'm the defender of the forest, said Julius, who loved being brave. Macy broke brave too, in her own way. Most nights, Julius and Macy liked to play heroes, and tonight was no different. We'll capture something big, said Julius, or set something free, said Macy. It seemed as though they could play all night, but even heroes needed a snack. They were sure they'd packed cookies and nuts, but their snacks were missing. The night goblin must have taken them, said Julius. What's a night goblin? asked Macy. He lives deep in the woods and is taller than trees. He has big yellow eyes and crooked teeth. He's the worst kind of scared, said Julius. Let's catch him, said Julius. We need to be careful, said Macy. They wandered deep in the forest to a place they had never been before. Then they heard it, a sound so terrible it made them tremble. Crunch, crunch, crunch. The night goblin, whispered Macy. It's really dark in there, said Julius. Did you hear that? asked Macy. He sounds hungry, said Julius as they crept deeper into the cave. He could be round any corner, said Macy. Crunch, crunch, crunch. The worst kind of scary, whispered Julius. What do we do? asked Macy. We stay brave, said Julius. Then, as if from nowhere, they heard a small sigh and a tiny choo. Quietly, they stepped around the corner, and there they found the night goblin. Julius, said Macy, he looks kind of lonely. She whispered an idea to Julius. 
but he wasn't so sure. But sometimes, being brave isn't about being a superhero. Hello, Julius and Macy said together. It turned out the Night Goblin wasn't even a monster at all. His name was Sherwin, and he lived alone. I'm sorry I took your snacks, he said, and he meant it. When it was time to go home, Julius and Macy wished their adventure didn't have to end. Do you want to play with us? They asked Sherwin. He did, even though he wasn't really sure how. So Julius and Macy led the way, and they only paused once, because even heroes get hungry sometimes. And on this night, everything tasted especially delicious. Okay, that was Julius and Macy, A Very Brave Night. What'd you guys think? When was the last time you made a friend? All right, our next book is The Sword in the Stove, Words and Pictures by Frank W. Dormer, and published by Anthem Books for Young Readers. Harold, 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 Harold. Where's Harold? He had to go potty. Well, if he doesn't get here soon, then holy haddock. Holy haddock! What's a haddock? There's a sword in the stove. Who would put a sword in the stove? Oh, oh, I know, I know. Pirates! Who will make us wear parrots on our heads and say things like, Scallion, say it, say it. Or it could be Harold's. I don't think so. Wobbling wizards. Wizards? Oh no, not wizards. There's a shield in the stove. Who would put a shield in the stove? Ooh, ooh, I know this one. Vikings, who will steal our cookies and make us say... Gribniff. Or it could be Harold's. I don't think so. Aardvarks. Oh, 
aardvarks? No, it can't be aardvarks. And howling aardvarks. That's worse. Okay, tell me. I can take it. There is a helmet in the stove. That's Harold's. Sword plus shield plus helmet equals Harold. Someone put Harold in the stove. Who would put Harold in the stove? Ooh, ooh, I know, I know. Whoosh! I would. And he was slow roasted at 375 degrees. Yum yum. Who's up for dessert? I still have to go potty. Alright, that was the sword in the stove. That was a funny one. What'd you guys think? Alright everyone, thank you for coming to story time. Now, just because we're done reading does not mean we have to be done with story time. At the library, you can get something called a story time kit, which is a fun-filled activity kit that goes with the books you read today. Each kit comes with a coloring sheet, a craft, and a tasty recipe that you can make with your grown-ups. This week, our craft is this night helmet. Pretty cool. They even got a feather. To get a kit, you need to come to the Fairfield County Library and look for some crates in the children's section. And we have two crates, one for Monday story times and one for Wednesdays. If you want to make sure to grab your things out of the right kit, or you can end up with something completely different than what I just showed you. The kits for this story time are in the pre-K and toddler crate. They are the red ones. Okay, everybody, thank you for joining me for story time. It's time to say goodbye, but I look forward to seeing you all next time. And I hope to see you in the library this week to pick up a story time kit. Bye!